talking about this. Butter believe I'm gonna make some puns in the supermarket. <laughs> and this is why I'm so bad at baking. Oh! It was looking good until now it's like leaking. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Take their word for it. Isn't it good? Guys, hello my love. Welcome to Vlogmas day four. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and I'm going to try my hand at baking gingerbread. Now, I am not a baker, as you can tell from yesterday's vlog, his hands are not made for baking, but more for throwing things into an air fryer. But I feel like the only time of the year I bake is during Christmas time because it's all festive and cozy and fun. And today I really, really crave some gingerbread because it's really rainy in London. I can't go out and about and show you things as much today. So I thought, why not have a cozy, cozy vlog instead? Because I know that a bunch of you want to see more cooking videos and baking videos. So yeah, baking with shoes is gonna happen and I'm gonna put on some like British Bake Off inspired classical music in the background while we attempt to make 20 gingerbread cookies around my sister's flat because they actually have an oven and I don't have an oven here. So yeah, but before we get into that, it's time for today's joke of the day and I have made this gingerbread <laughs> inspired. So today's joke is, sorry I'm not laughing already. What does a gingerbread man use when he breaks his leg? He uses a candy cane. <laughs> I'm just imagining this like gingerbread limping. Oh, there's another one as well. What do you call a gingerbread man when he breaks his leg? A limp biscuit. I'm <laughs> literally like, like crying about this. <sighs> so today's question of the day is, what is your favorite sweet treat during Christmas? So for me, it actually is gingerbread because I don't have a particularly sweet tooth, but I do love ginger. So that is my answer in the comments below. And we can have a chat about sweet treats or savory treats because for me, I love chips, so if there was like some festive chips, I probably would have them. But before we get into going to the shops and getting some baking materials, I'm gonna show you today's outfit of the day. I have these earrings from my friend Tori, and she actually handcrafted and made them herself out of clay, and I love them. I've got my fancy Nordrian watch on, so I can use it to tell the time and when my cookies are ready, and it goes with my outfit, or it goes with everything, to be honest. And this is a jumper that I lovingly borrowed from my sister that have never returned. And and she, I think she's now accepted the fact that this is now mine, but I'm now like going to her, so she might be like, give me my jumper back. But yeah, it's beautiful, it's colorful. I believe she bought it from ASOS years and years ago. Oh, oh, oh before we go, today's advent calendar. Day three, I've already spotted you, you're here. And I believe a viewer called Lavinia, Lavina. I hope I pronounced your right name right. Please let me know if I haven't. We've got the same advent calendar. So today you've also got a, what is this? What is this? Oh, I think they're two baubles. Mmm. 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 Good. I'm using this recipe it's from BBC Food Gingerbread Men, and I believe this is for children. <laughs> so these are the ingredients that I need to get: ginger. You can tell I don't bake. This is kind of soft brown sugar because it says crunchy on it, and I don't think that's very soft. Oh, they're up there, but this looks like it's already sold out, so we need to get the light. Oh no, I'm not five foot three, I can't reach. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a very exciting day. You better believe I'm gonna make some puns in the supermarket. <laughs> so they have every color and hue but white, so I'm gonna have to go for yellow and pink, I think. Please scan an item or press finish and pay. Hello and welcome to Baking with I'm going to switch my usual lo-fi music selection to something that's a bit more Bake Off inspired. So here we go, classical music. So I've got the recipe ready. I'm going to first sift together the flour, bicarbonate of soda, ginger and cinnamon in a bowl. And this is why I'm so bad at baking because I'm now on 354 grams and I'm like, oh, that will do, that's fine. I don't need to make it exact. And I'm like, when it tastes bad, that's probably why. So the ne next thing and reason why I'm not good at baking. So I need one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And that's the one thing that I was like, I cannot forget to buy this. Guess what I forgot I bought? I forgot to buy bicarbonate of soda. But I went to my friend Google and I said you need three times the amount of baking powder for baking soda. So let's hope for the best. One, two, I'm scared it's gonna be bitter. Oh well. Three. Two teaspoons of ginger 
and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. 125 grams of butter. This is the part that I'm dreading. I have to now use a hand blender. I've only got one blender, so hopefully. Oh! Didn't realize it was already on. Excuse that technical difficulty. I'm back with the blender and a bigger mixing bowl because it was going everywhere. Okay, let's try this again. Honestly, I don't think Bake Off has anything to worry about, but I have made it look like breadcrumbs now. Ta da! And now I need to add in the sugar, which is 175 grams of the light brown soft sugar. Here we go. Also, I've got flour all in my hair, so I feel like it's been aged in four years. <laughs> I'm now, what's 28 plus 84, 112 years old. Oh, that's not satisfying. Okay. 179 grams, oh, that'll do. Now it's time for me to put this on the counter and knead it into a dough. And then we're gonna chill it in the fridge for 15 minutes. I'm gonna get all my washing up done because what kind of person are you? Like, are you someone who likes to leave all of the washing up until the very end and do it all in one go? Or do you like to do what I do and just wash as I go? Because I hate having everything all together. I feel like if I do it on the go, then it feels like there's less to do. I feel like it's so British way of being like, go on, put some welly in it. <laughs> I don't know where that expression even comes from, like welly, as in like welly boots, or I don't know, put some welly in it, as when you like put some weight into it, you know? All right, love, put some welly in it. I need to be better at this. So maybe this will be my next calling, like over vlogmas, I'll realize that I actually quite like baking because I find it quite hard to like relax. So I feel like this might be a good thing for me to do because I could still work but I'm also relaxing because this is actually very therapeutic. I know why people love to do it now. The dough is out the fridge and now we are going to knead it and start cutting shapes into the dough. So I have four different types of cutters. So we've got a Christmas tree one, we've got a star one and a gingerbread man. So I think I'm gonna use these three. I don't want to use this one. This is my the gingerbread man I've made so far. So I've got eight of them here and they're cutting okay. I don't know whether they're gonna be, you know, more of a puffy gingerbread man, but we'll see. But it looks so cute, doesn't it? And I've got four stars, eight gingerbread men and four Christmas trees. Let me see if I can get four more stars. Okay. They look like gingerbread! <laughs> Yeah! How good does that look? Yay! <laughs> oh, these two are like best friends. This can be you two. Oh no, some of them are decapitated. So I'll put them in the snack pile. I couldn't wait, so I already started eating it and it's got a good crunch. I think it'll do while I bake off. Mm. It's not too sweet, which I like because I don't like things that are too sweet. But one thing I would change next time, I think because the recipe was for kids, I would add way more ground ginger because I want more spice and I want that like strong ginger flavor. And it's like obviously it's a gingerbread man so you can still taste it, but I want it to be like whew, spicy ginger. But my sisters both love it and they um, are very hard to please with things like this and they both were like, oh, keep coming back for more. So I think it's an absolute treat. So don't take my word for it, take their word for it. Isn't it good? Guys! Okay. No, no! <laughs> that's what we said off camera. I know, that's the point, it's funny. Not funny! Okay. <laughs> you know, it's really good. Anyway, I'm snacking on these so much, but I will link the recipe in the description if you wanted to make it. Mm. You like them, right? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Mm. Say it loud over the camera. <laughs> so we're now at the decorating stage and I have a few things to decorate with so I got these little icing pens weirdly they didn't have a white one because I'd like to do like little eyes and like a lining so instead I decided in honor of my favorite girl band to get black and pink black pink so they'll be black pink <laughs> gingerbread and also yellow uh, because the studio is yellow and it's my favorite color so I've got those three my sister says she had these choco writer cake ones but she also said it might be expired, so I don't 
I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think I'll go with that one. A scatter of mini marshmallows that I thought would be cute as like little buttons. Um, missed a trick, I should have got Smarties, but I completely forgot. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> Sister's the one with Kylie lips, she says. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, it's like bee stung lips. <laughs> oh, that's cute, I like that colour. I'd wear that. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice neckline. I prefer like a square line, but you know. Now we're going to give her plenty. What's her name? Um, Ginger Spice. <laughs> <laughs> These are the final ones. So this is the one I created with a little bow tie. He looks so happy. And this is his date that my sister made with the scallop pledged dress and marshmallow buttons. And I love the plump lips. Look at how happy they are together. What a happy couple. And also I made this star with the yellow one. And then also this one was the one that I wanted to make like a pink cardigan jumper but it turns out to look like he had a really horrible accident and he's looking so shocked about it. Your mother's sister is creating her one so let's see what she makes. I'm going to attempt a friend. Oh, That's about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically us when we were younger. Oh it's spreading. I yeah it looks like they're touching. Uh -oh. oh no the other head's running down its face. <laughs> it was looking good until now it's like leaking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good effort. This is her second attempt because she didn't want that one on camera as much. So this one actually has this kind of edge dress and we've got a beautiful checkered print. Very spring summer 2021. Again, some bee stung lips. One eye is bigger than the other, but you know, that's all right. That's all right. So we've got a whole family here now. Which one is your favorite? So let's name them. This one is called, what should we name this one? Benjamin, Margaret, Tilda, Betty, and Alfred. Which one out of the five is your favorite one? Personally, I love Alfred and Betty, but I also, I love all of them. I love all of them equally. And after that fun evening, I am now home and I am smiling ear to ear. Like that was such a wholesome activity. Sisters and I never really do that kind of stuff. Like we never really do that much like baking and stuff together. So I was really excited that they actually wanted to decorate because I don't know, it was just like, it was just so nice to just be sitting there and like laughing at each other's like decorations and like laughing at the expressions and taking pictures and things. And it's just like, oh, to me, that is what Christmas is about. It's just about having these like little memories. So I took a billion photos on my phone because I know that I'll be looking back on this later on in the years and just been like, oh, I remember that day when we like, we're making gingerbread and that's why I love making videos like this as well and not only to share all of these special moments with you but be able to look back on like these exact days and exact moments and feel like oh I remember that day so I hope you enjoyed uh, following along with uh, me attempting to make gingerbread which didn't actually turn out bad you know like it tasted good it went down a treat like my sisters loved 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 eating them even though they refused to say it on camera but they actually were like it's actually really really good and they were like can you please make them again I'm like yes of course I can. But anyway, I'm now gonna get ready for bed. And tomorrow I've got an early morning meeting with my management, our weekly Friday calls. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready in bed now, have a hot cup of tea, and then um, start editing this vlog so you can see it tomorrow. And I'm loving these daily uploads, by the way. Thank you so much for being so lovely and for answering the questions and for like, you know, chatting and engaging every single day. It's so nice to see your name pop up and to chat. So yeah, look forward to chatting to you later as well and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.